what I would say is being aware of it is what I'm trying to do. I'm not saying we should never have populations. Populations do exist. I'm not sure that we always capture them exactly as they exist. But the but more precise, I guess. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, um, on a practical level, um, thinking about the logistics of starting up a new research study, uh -huh. um, how would a researcher, like um, in biomedical research, like you were um, talking about, um, how would a person go about formulating a study and doing the recruiting and you know, thinking about all the data that you want to gather? How can you do it without, you know, separating people into their categories and, you know, asking about people's race and everything. Um, is it possible, is it a good thing to set up a research study where you don't pay attention to race at all? Um, so logistically and practically, um, other than the resources you just mentioned a few minutes ago, how would a researcher like me do that? Mm -hmm. um, I would say that the most important thing is to be specific, context specific, and really think really carefully and critically about exactly why each of the uh, populations, variable, variables, constructs, etc., might be needed. For instance, in capturing quote-unquote race, what is it that we want to understand? Is it that we want to understand what someone is exposed to? Is it that we want to understand how they walk around in society and what kinds of racism they might experience as a result of that? If so, then simply asking them their identity is not going to be the gold standard measure of that. We would want some sort of indicator of their exposure to discrimination. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. So it's a matter of um, asking deeper questions of everybody. Uh, like, you know, my thing is about mental health. So mm -hmm. if I gather, you know, 500 people of various races and ethnicities, you know, I'll ask them their race and ethnicity. Uh -huh. um, but if my um, goal for the research study is to figure out what causes mental health issues, uh -huh. then I would need to ask deeper questions for everybody of, you know, um, putting their race aside, what kind of problems do they face uh -huh. because of their mental health issues. So with that, you know, bring down the level of um, structural racism in my research study if I go at it that way? So two things I would recommend right up front. One is um, when you, you said asking more questions, asking deeper questions. I would start those questions with myself. Asking how am I thinking about race and how is that informing the questions that I'm asking as I go into this project. Um, because otherwise, when you go in, you'll already have categories of what racial group, what comparisons are going to be there, what, what, what comparisons might even be possibilities. And so that's one. And then the other is to collaborate with others. So um, there are community members who would actually might draw different, um, might say that there are different populations that matter. So it could be that the underlying populations are not racialized, that they have to do with personality types or something. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I would, those are the two big things that I would recommend, um, just based on that little bit, and it's a hypothetical study, yeah. <laughs> yeah, future okay. study. Yeah. Let's thank. Everyone, please join us in the atrium for a reception. If you have the time, you can continue the conversation there. <laughs> Thank you.